privilege to contribute for the first time, and I wish to thank the staff of the House for their kindness, their wisdom, their wit in recent weeks, and my introducers, Lord Sachs and Lord Clark of Hampstead, the rabbi and the postman. How my parents would have smiled. I suspect all of you have heard much of the Battle of Cable Street, but none of you heard the Battle of Holbeck Moor. Two weeks before, a thousand Blackshirts and Mosley assembled on Holbeck Moor in Leeds. 30,000 local people turned out, and the fascists were promptly removed from the city. There's no written testimony, there are no photographs, no artist drawings, a silent history. My family, for 70 years, lived alongside Holbeck Moor in the two up, two down, back to back terraces, the cobbled street. I can't claim with certainty that one of them threw the cobble that put Mosley in hospital. 30,000 heroes, nothing recorded. The true face of this country. And in the election, the true story of this election, Derby North, Williamson Christopher, 635 Lost Deposit, West Bromwich East, Galloway George, 489 Lost Deposit. The innate decency of the British people yet again across the entirety of the country, saying sometimes very vocally, unequivocally, we reject the extremism of anti-Semitism. I wish to pay tribute to Theresa May. Three people have gone to prison in the last two and a half years. All three, amongst others, targeted me, my family, my staff. She stood by me and my family at that time when some others did not. And I salute the integrity and courage that she gave when she didn't have to set up the Hillsborough Inquiry or the National Child Abuse Inquiry. I represented 30 survivors of child abuse. I advise some still. And I want to thank my staff who assisted in empowering those 30 people who had to go to hell and back in learning their testimony. So thank you, Theresa May, for that. You see, we have power. The question is what we choose to do with it. I, I look at this curious place today. I, I shall hold my peace for the moment. But now is a time for an era of enlightenment. The northern working class communities where I come from expect the dignity of being heard. Are their views, their visions, their votes not as valuable as the next person's? There is no greater poverty than that of being discounted. Imagine retired coal miners, 12 years on strike, 12 months on strike, all the women who stood tall alongside them while their children went without. Their anguish at this last election is incalculable. But I tell you, 
their determination to see through their democratic decision is not. But that is not, for me, the defining image of the election. Let me conclude on what is. In North London, on election day, a Jewish couple, elderly, who had voted Labour their entire lives, who wept as they went into the polling station, who sobbed as they voted, who cried as they left that polling station. I have a role now on anti-Semitism, rightly independent, and as ever, I shall work cross-party. But I will be no bystander in driving out the stench of intolerance from the party that in 1906 my family helped create in the city of Leeds in the streets around Holbeck Moor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,